I've been using Ultimate Guard, not sponsored by the way, I'm just giving a recommendation. Ultimate Guard flipping tray boxes. Pretty nice. Uh, got a part for your deck and a part for dice and stuff. And I also use the, what are these called? Um, I think they're called the Sidewinder Ultimate Guard boxes. Uh, they're available on TCG Player and in gaming our affiliates where you where you can support by shopping there. All right, both both players started off with a ponder, which is very exciting. And let's see how this goes. Do you want to cut? All right, good. Yep. Use 3D printed um, deck boxes. 12 problems. That sounds interesting. I like I like the sidewinders. The only thing I don't like about them is that I have to then carry my dice separately. But I still use them quite a bit. And I noticed that like if I have a bunch of tokens or um, anything like that for my for my deck, these run out of room. They're a little slim. Total problems does use three D printed deck boxes. That's that's pretty neat. Yeah, definitely post a picture in the Discord. I'll check that out. All right, Sylvan Library on the board for. George, it's pretty good. And here's counterbalance from for Phil. Do you think? Yep. So oh, I need to get the cards for this. So. Draw pay. Okay. We had a smaller than usual turnout this week for uh for Legacy, so we'll see some of the same players a few times on today's stream. Yeah, so there there is a sidewinder for 100 cards deck, 100 card decks like a commander deck. Um, I bought the slimmer ones. I guess if you have a you know you usually carry a lot of tokens and stuff like that, you can you can just get the the 100 size deck box. Mine like you know an an 80 card double sleeve deck with a couple of tokens just barely fits. Like I, I you know you gotta like really pull on it to get it out. If you had a couple of tokens in there. Um, since we're underway, too, I want to thank some people here. A special shout out to Bob Patterson Jr., one of the biggest supporters of the channel. Thank you, Bob. A YouTube Rare member for 11 months now. Thank you to Anne One for Life for buying three 90s Magic t-shirts yesterday. And Mark Hughes for buying a 90s Magic t-shirt as well a few days ago. The links are below for t-shirts if you're interested, everybody. I'm rocking one right now. My spicy emote tee. Um, thank you to all of our new YouTube members. Tron Travolta joined as a rare member. Tron Travolta. Thank you so much for becoming a rare tier member. Our top tier on YouTube. Let me bring up... Oh, I should have done this a moment ago. Let me bring up the names of the other new YouTube members. New YouTube members, Finn Lath, Zach Reed, Peculiar, Pel Pecul Peculiar Pelican, I can't pronounce it, Cameron Cook, Lee S., Thomas Hughes, uh, and then Tr Tron Travolta, a, a rare member that I just mentioned. Thank you to all of you for becoming YouTube members. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the join button below. And uh, become a member. Thank you to all those people. Um, do I have anyone else to thank here? I just want to make sure I get around to all of those. Don't want to miss anybody. Okay, I think I I think I covered it. Thanks for the support, everybody. Appreciate it. All right, here's a cabal therapy on the stack. Let's see what happens. You have four five. Four cards. Um, uh, Jason Mine Sculptor. 
Okay, let me write down. Yep. Cycle, pursuit. Oh, okay. Cycle. Yep. So I just draw a card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we see force of will, force of negation, source of plowshares, and entreat in hand for force of fill with counterbalance on top of the deck. So the counter counterbalance trigger didn't work this time. Tron Travolta's in chat. Thank you, Tron. All right, a brainstorm here for George. Ziv is here. Say hello in chat if you're here. <laughs> Good. That's seven And then I think what we're going to I'm going on right hand this day. I'm not here, I'm not here. Yeah. I can't activate it if I do these four. Yeah, so one, two. Oh, cool. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at the Discord again later, and I'll check it out. Uh, yes, go ahead. True? Yeah. Transfer. I have treasures. Oh. Good point. Are you used for your treasures? I have four left. I missed what happened to the Sylvan Library, but I assume it was hit by the prismatic ending in Phil's yard. Let's see if this is an Alluren. Oh no, this is um Oh okay, escaping Uro, I see. Wasn't sure if George drew an allure in there. We know, because we know uh, Phil has a force of negation and a force of will in hand. And I believe it was a source of plowshares and entreat the angels, the other cards. Moderately Anonymous is here. What's up? Wow, those full art tundras are heavy duty. Yeah, <laughs> they are quite nice. Force of Phil with a beautiful collection. If you're looking for CEDH, moderately anonymous in chat is is where to go. Tyler Goblin Grandee is here and says happy Wednesday. So Tyler Goblin Grandee, I I um for everybody that was was here right when we started, we have some intro music when the stream starts, and the first time. I use that music on stream, and I have a screenshot of it, and I guess I could share it in the Discord later or something. I have a screenshot of Tyler Goblin Grandy in, in Twitch chat while the song is playing for the first time. It says, <laughs> love the music, Chris. I want to punch somebody in the face. And every, <laughs> every time I see it, I laugh. It's so funny. I guess this music just gets people hype. Six trigger trigger results. How big is it? Two. One. No, oh. bigger. It's one, two. No, three. no, this is just the goblin. That oh, one is something. Okay. So it's only a two, two. Okay. Yeah. No, he's still at one. I'm sorry. Time. I thought it was. Uh -huh. And I go up to eight. Another Uro goes on the stack here. Puts a Savannah into play. So George has adjusted the Alluren deck. If you've been watching um, our streams over the last couple of months, you've seen George playing Alluren on stream. But it's been adjusted a little bit to add white. It now has Recruiter of the Guard and a slightly different finisher for the deck. I think Aserac and the Venture into the Dungeon stuff has been cut but I'm not sure 
Here's Belfel Strix, yep. a legacy favorite. Ponder. Counterbalance. Yep. Not doing a whole lot at the moment, allowing everything to resolve. There's an Uro in the yard, but it looks like only three other cards are in the graveyard. All right, thinking about this ponder. Force of fill with only one non-land permanent on the battlefield right now, a counterbalance. Spellful Strix is likely way too slow to win the game. George needs more threats. Keith Master Flex is here. What's up, Keith? Yeah, a lot of our a lot of our viewers are uh, over on YouTube are always leaving comments that they love the Alluren and keep it coming. So we'll we'll see more Alluren on this channel if people are digging it. Ball therapy. Four. Clear up for some medical treatment. Okay. Let's exalt her. Took out two force of wills. It's abrupt decay on counterbalance. And here's Uro. Everybody's favorite elder giant is back. Yeah, that was rough. Mystic Sanctuary putting Source of Plowshares back on top. Okay. I'm going to bring Two, three, four, five, six. Can't be countered. Nope. Two X damage to Creature Planeswalker, and then pound her. Uh, so I get two. <laughs> nice <laughs> two. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go for it. Go. Go. Interrupt keep. Yeah, that's everybody. Interrupt keep. All right, so I untap. He probably doesn't play the sweeper, does he? <laughs> Pick up to six. Just, uh, I have up this block. It looks like George has a force of will in hand that's just going to get hard cast to protect Uro here, which I like. We know force of fills, only other cards in hand are prismatic ending, which can't currently hit Uro and entreat the angels, which is at this point close to useless. Uh, I'll keep fetch for George. Drawing a card looks like Arctic Merfolk and attacking here. Getting in for six damage. Fill down to seven. And here's Alluren. And here's where things start to get a little scary. Here's Belfel Strix. Recruiter of the Guard. Does anyone else here like toying with your opponent by pulling uh, in your upkeep? I'm going to go 
past priority. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. I like a little mind games, though, while I'm playing a match. I don't mind that. CEDH players do that all the time? Nice. Mystic Sanctuary tapped pass. Verdant Catacombs into Ponder, most likely with a Trop. Nope, Underground Sea. Must have some Cabal Therapies in hand, I guess. Too many decisions. Like, I, I haven't played CEDH yet, but isn't it, like, do, does it ever get kind of silly? Like, someone casts, um, what would be, like, what would be a good example? Someone casts Ad Nauseum in, in CEDH. I think that card is legal. And... Then you check priority for three opponents, right? But like, doesn't the the next player think about passing to see if the next player can deal with it or or something like that? Like, I don't know. I I, I feel like that would get messy. MTG Banding says in a highlighted message. I don't know about CEDH, but I hear the hottest new format. Is old school 93, 94 plus secret lair. I agree. I think that's a hot format. I think that's a hot format. What I love about old school 93, 94 crowd is that they're really, really into secret lairs and all that kind of fun new stuff like um, Street Fighter magic cards. They're really into that. And um, seeing them embrace all of that and use it in their decks has been really beautiful to watch. Moderately Anonymous says, oh, yeah, lots of priority bullying, especially because people draw cards with Rhystic Study and stuff. Exactly, yeah. There's like, it, it probably just gets kind of uncomfortable at times. I mean, I know, it, I know it's all like in good fun, but yeah. Keith Master Flex I heard it was alchemy. <laughs> uh, alchemy is apparently popular. I mean, people are playing it. I have, I still haven't tried it yet myself, but I've played some of the alchemy cards in Historic. Played against them anyway. Twelve Problems says a friend of mine is holding on to my old school deck. All right. I I know what that card is, but I forget what it does. It's an instant that says put target armor and permanent on X cards from the top of the player's library. Right, so you have an AK. MTG Banding is a bagel god. I agree. I agree. You see a thwart there on the table. Was it absence? Yeah. So the X okay. is what? X put target non land permanent card. From the uh, X cards from the top of the library. So it's like the fairy almost, right? Like right. If you, so, so if I do it for zero, it goes on top. Okay, and, and if X is like three, that goes. That means it's the fourth card. Three cards down. Yeah. So it goes one, two, three. You want to look, then at, the, the you want to look at the oracle? So it's no, no. Different. Just I'm just making sure that's the way it is, right? So like. Um, yeah. So if I if it's X is one, it goes underneath the top card. So X it would be the, the second. Okay. Okay. So, three under the so top it goes three. underneath the X. Yes. Okay. And that's a permanent. Target non land permanent. Non land permanent. Okay. Instant. Okay. So, I mean, I missed. I'm just you uh, double checking here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. What am I missing here? Pyro. No. Oh, sword. Just a warning, everybody. This is mind blowing stuff happening on here. 
Everybody clear out of the way. Watch out. Make way for Kip in chat. Kip is here, everybody. What's up, Kip? Destroy, destroy. Okay. Pass to you. All right, nice. Kip and Mod know each other. Perfect. Turn Zero Games, former Hype Train Conductor, is here and says, I haven't played Magic in three weeks. I forget how. You know what? Sometimes we go through rough patches in life. <laughs> Not playing Magic for three weeks sounds like torture. I'd rather be in solitary confinement. Uh, yes, but I can also cast sorceries as well. Yeah, they're kind of bad. Good. True. Uh, Try, you've got. All right, counterbalance resolves again for Force of Phil. I feel like Alluren's not a great counterbalance opportunity, but we'll see. George down to four. Let's, ho let's hope Force of Phil is running some uh, bolts or something. Resolves? Yep. The run resolves. Okay. I say I keep drawing the ancient tombs, but not the cities. This still in stuff. Yep. Exiles. Sacrifice trigger for Uro still in the stack. We're casting a recruiter here. And this will likely um, find. Oh, okay. So it gets another recruiter, another recruiter. Maybe Phil is dead now. Let's see. I don't know what's left in the deck. So. Oh, this is in my hand. Oh, okay. okay. Arctic Merfolk. Gonna bounce a row here. Uh, I'm gonna cast it with Kicker. Uh, Kicker just as a cost. So I'm just gonna return this. This, this is good. Okay, so that's gone. Oh no. Bounces recruiter, okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna go back in, but I'm just gonna put it right there. This okay, so Arctic Murfolk was actually countered by an unexpectedly absent on top of the deck for Force of Phil. It's really hard to, to to predict what's gonna happen here. Okay, another recruiter. This is the one that we saw already. It's Grist, okay. Yeah, CMC2 on top is rough, you're right. Okay, Uro, trigger still in the stack. Uh, that's me. Play lands. Plus Grist. Two. Uh, on one. <laughs> Plus Gris make an insect. Force of Phil draws a card. The unexpectedly absent we knew about. Needs to deal with Grist. Needs to deal with Alluren. Sylvan Library would also be nice. I think pro highest priority right now is to get rid of Alluren. Let's see if Force of Phil puts a two back on top again for the following turn. Oh, 
Take these two. Yep. Take it down. To three. Alright. This one. Yep. Yeah. I was like, I quit. I'm going with this. Four of them. This is like, oh, that was brutal. Prep decay, quite good against counterbalance. Blows it up here. Two, three. So it's almost like wind condition. Call therapy, target you. Next step. Uh, make another one. Take this. Pass to you. Uh, predict the alert. Oh, I'm sorry. Unexpectedly have to be alert. Trying to put Alluren back on top of the deck here. Endurance in response. Results. Turn to you. Taking. I don't have to go. Force of Will counters the Eternal Witness. And now it looks like a Luren will go back on top of the deck. Yep. So use the Force. You pitch to predict. The absence is gone. Uh, like I tried to not for a bit, but... Yeah, I'll get the uh, six. I think the the pyro, um, and then you have the Thor and so Thor and Pyro. Uh, yeah. Thwart and Swords to Plowshares. The cards in hand for Force of Fill. Second Cabal Therapy. Swordsing Endurance in response. One, two, three. Yeah. And I'll name the yeah. oh, okay. I'm assuming it's going to resolve. Yeah. Well, Which one the new one that you make? The yes. new one. Yeah. That's a fire, right? Yeah. Swing so for like, three. Um, force of Phil should be at 18 right now from the Force of Will. It seems like the players did not update the life totals, but not much we could do about that for now. Phil not looking good at the moment. Staring down Sylvan Library, Grist, an Alluren that's likely going to resolve now. Surgical. My hand on it? Yeah. All right. Um, just a heads up. The sh flicking it back and forth is... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's just like... So I, will, I just won't draw the extra then. I mean, you still can if you want to for, for a life and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah. I can still look at them. Because you're still in your draw stuff. Yeah. yeah. So this is what I'm drawing no matter what. I won't draw the extra. That's fine. Well, this this is on the stack, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So like this will resolve first. Yeah, no, that's fine. But like, I can choose not to. I mean, can't choose. Like, I can look at them, the two, and then just not. Then just right. Put I'm saying that like, if you choose to do that though, it'll be after this resolves. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like to fix this. Like, that's already in my hand. And I'm flicking it, so right. I can't put that back. Right. So. You could look at two and then still pay for a life if you yeah, want. Yeah, but I can just put them back and leave them right. like that. Right. You can put so them back. So it doesn't ruin the game stay, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're targeting Uro? So I'm targeting Uro. You're 14. Uh, Two, three, four. 
Surgical on Uro with Sylvan Library trigger on the stack here. Yeah. Uh, sure, that's one. Okay. Take up the I think there's only one other one. You, I, I, I trust your judgment. Because yeah, we're long time, so there's a whole yeah. creature. I think George drew one card. And um, before the Sylvan Library trigger resolves, surgical happens. What the players were discussing was George was mixing the card drawn into his hand, which both players knew was a Lurin, but then that card can now no longer be put back on top of the library with Sylvan Library because... In theory, uh, Phil wouldn't know which card was put back on top of the library when only Alluren would have been an option, if that makes sense. Okay, a Terminus happening here. But it got forced, okay. Four. Right, so you draw your regular card for turn, then during the draw step, there's a Sylvan Library trigger, which... Ooh, and treat the angels for two. Which allows you to draw the two additional cards and then put the cards back on top and that whole thing. But that's a trigger during your draw step. But your card drawn for turn is not a trigger. It just happens before anything else. Can't respond to it. Uh, take this one. Four? Oh. All right, what's this do? Haste, mm. can creature. Trigger. Brainstorm. Uh, oh, I didn't have to. Okay. One, two, three. Yep. Uh, I was actually. I'll take two. I'll take two. I have a this. Everyone's a little bit racist. Where was? Swing for four. Mm -hmm. right. Past you. I'm at six. Um, right. Alright, make another one. Mm -hmm. So we each discard and draw Tucker. Yeah. I was just. Yeah, I'm, I'm that's weird. Weird. Yeah. No, uh, pretty much we exile. Brainstorm? Sure. So you have a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. We, we shuffle our graveyard. So Grist opted to make an insect rather than hit an angel there. Maybe hoping to Grist ultimate next turn? And attacking for 5. Block two, take two, take three, go to four. A source of Plowshares doesn't, uh, yeah, it would win um, George the game. I mean, fill the game. Let's see. Cardboard Live is not enabled. I, I don't have deck lists for this event. Okay, so Belfastrix trades with an angel and passing the turn with lethal on the stack for George. Fetching on the end step. Getting a swamp. Sure. 
and storage. Yeah, no, 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 I have a third grade on one link. Do like this. Yeah. Draw Please be that. Now, take just care. the one. Swing for three. I'll put it too. Target you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll say Flutter Tree. Okay. So close. Good game. Because I'm just going to pick two. First after. Play another one. All right. That was close. Alluren gets there. George Pappas gets there.